Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Better Channel. In this video, we're talking about the build 22635.4082 for version 23H2. But of course, the Better Channel is pretty close to getting some new features related to Windows 11 24H2 in the near future. And in this video, as always, I'm going to show you what is new, what has changed, and what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Better Channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is adding a new option to turn off the suggestions to disable notifications from certain apps. You can press the dots within the notification to disable the notification as you can with other notifications or you can go to the list of notification centers and settings and then system and then notifications and then you can turn it off from here and you should find the notification suggestions in the list. This entry will only appear in the centers list after you have received one. So you can see it right here, notification suggestions, you can select this or you can go and just disable this if you want. It's really, really simple. Also, Microsoft updated the lock screen so that the media controls will now show at the lower bottom center of the lock screen when media is being played. This is also pretty interesting. Inside settings, Windows update, then advanced options, and then delivery optimization. Microsoft updated this settings page to match the Windows 11 design principles. Also in this update, we're getting some new updates to the start menu all apps UI. So if we're going to the start menu and then in the all apps section, as you can see, Microsoft worked on updating these sections when you select the category view. I think this is looking better than the previous version. And also when you hover over an app, we're going to see this tooltip that shows the name of that app. And I think that is pretty interesting. Of course, this is still not working yet as it should, but you can open apps. I think Microsoft still has to implement the ability to open these folders and so on. And I think this is pretty interesting and it's looking pretty good in my opinion. Let's now talk about a few fixes. For example, related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft fixed an issue causing Explorer exit to crash for some insiders when closing apps from the taskbar in the latest flights. Related to the start menu, fix an issue causing the start menu to crash on launch in the last few flights for some insiders. And also fix an issue causing a memory leak after receiving certain notifications. And we also have another fix for some registry keys, but you can see that in the article below in the video's description. We also have a new known issue. Microsoft is working on the fix for an issue causing File Explorer to crash when going to home for some insiders with the previous flight. If you're impacted by this and having issues launching File Explorer because it's set to home. As a workaround, one option is to use the run dialog win plus R to open specific folders. So this is the latest beta channel build for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.